Welcome to another episode of St. Vincent Untold Stories. On this episode, we speak about the Lassafre volcano in St. Vincent and we also look at the evacuees who want to go home and who don't want to and who want to go away and who don't want to as well. A big ups to all of my subscribers and if you are new to the channel hit the like button the subscribe button and hit the bell icon because you are going to want to see this video and many more like this <laughs> uh, before I go forward let me say this I love the people of Sandy I love my Garifuna people and my Garifuna heritage although I'm not from Sandy B. I saw an article in which the big man was speaking about the rebuilding of villages uh, north of the Jai River. Uh, from my understanding, uh, north of the Jai River was one of the last places in St. Vincent and the Grenadines to receive electricity. Uh, there are some people who always group these people north of the Jai River in a special category. Calling them all type of names. Uh, but you see the people who do that. What they fail to understand. Is that Albert Einstein. Was very intelligent even before he came up with his invention. And what we must remember. There are persons. Who went to the girls high school. The St. Vincent Grammar School. The community and the technical college. And went on to university. That did not have electricity at home. I. I journeyed with Choi Prince to the Kalakwa Government School to make some donations. And we spoke with several young ladies. Uh, the ones uh, that came out for the donations. I asked them, are you ready to go back to Sandibi? Uh, they said no. They had signed up some papers to leave the island. Uh, so I said to them, do you know if you leave it is temporary? Uh, they said no problem. They just want to get out. Uh, so, I singled out one of the young ladies. I said, tell me the truth. Why do you really want to leave? She said, because of the struggles. Uh, this is my question to the Vincentian public. Why do you walk? And uh, let me give an answer. I believe that you walk because you want to elevate yourself. You want to get out of poverty. You are looking for a better life. Because if you're walking every day constantly and you're not seeing your fair share of a better life, don't you want to elevate? Don't you want to look for something different? Uh, time and time again, we've seen the same problems over and over. We've seen where materials were distributed to poor sons and left to rot, are sold off. And uh, there were persons badly in need of those materials and did not get them because they were not party card holders. Uh, then we have the persons coming out and saying, don't you blame the government, they are not responsible. So who is responsible for the distribution of those materials? Uh, so it leads us to wonder if that is one of the main contributing factors why some persons are saying that they aren't going back north of the Jai River. Uh, because if I had lived north of the Jai River, and I saw I lived around several party card holders. And every time a destruction comes, my house is being damaged, their house is damaged, and their houses alone gets repaired. What does it leave me to think? If that was you, would you want to go back? If you are riding in an omnibus and you are getting squeezed, don't you speak out? Don't you tell the driver to change the seat or reposition the persons on top of the seats? Uh, so... If there are persons saying they don't want to go back and not of the Jai River, does that leave the PM to speak on behalf of everyone? Don't an assessment needs to be done? I am calling on all the news entities in St. Vincent and the Grenadines to go to the shelter. We want to hear from the people themselves. To be honest, there are persons who want to go back because uh, that is their place of birth. They have invested their whole life savings. That is the only way they can get an income by going back to their communities. What about those who don't see an income, who don't have a job? Do you think those persons would not want to try something different? I've seen with my own eyes several ghetto youths from my community make it out. And when they make it out, they migrate to the suburbs. They migrate to the gated communities. I am sure... 
that I saw an article in which the professor said things would continue in some of these communities. Uh, so you want to tell me, a house got destroyed three times. You going to try to put it back there again? In the Bible, it says the wise man built his house on the rock. So tell me something. Some of these persons who built their house on the sand, it is because most of the time that is where their generation left lands for them, their ancestors. Uh, so now uh, that we have seen what building on soft sand has caused, are we going to go back and put them on the soft sand again? I have several brethren and sisters in the British Army, and some of them continue to reach out to me. And they are saying that St. Vincent is not being marketed enough. Because when they go on the streets of England, uh, they are seeing big posters, big billboards marketing St. Lucia, Barbados. And they only see a small thing with St. Vincent and the Grenadines. A uh, vibe cartel said in a song that they are denying certain things to the Rastafarian. But when Jamaican is marketing Jamaica, they are using the Rastafarian image from the tourist boards. Uh, Thaker drive around St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Who you see on the billboards most? Politicians uh, that can market St. Vincent. We need to go back to the giant board. I've watched a lot of interviews. And when they mention St. Vincent, they mention Kevin Little. But in St. Vincent, the politicians are on the tourist board like the Sanctonian. As they say, self-praise is no recommendation. But I have worked with several business places around St. Vincent and the Grenadines as a sales representative. And you see, when I step in, everything sell off. As the reason for that, I take my job very serious. And I listen to the voices of the ghetto people. Oftentimes, as the Grenadines people complain uh, that they are doing so much for tourism in St. Vincent and the Grenadines and still uh, they are being treated like they are not a part of St. Vincent. In St. Vincent uh, there is that problem with denial, with persons failing to give credit where credit is due. Uh, so if the government has the records to say like uh, places like uh, Beckway, places like Union Island are bringing in a large income of funds when it comes to tourism. What do you do? You bring them up to apply their knowledge to the thing. If you know Usain Bolt specializes in the 100 meter, what do you gonna do? You gonna take him out of the race because of favorism? You want him in so that you can win? Uh, when we just started St. Vincent and told stories, we got a lot of criticisms. Persons were telling us do this and do that. We did not speak bad of them, saying they are trying to create mischief. We took their advice and we improved. And up to this day, we continue to improve. Uh, there are some persons who might say, yes, get rid of the opposition. But if the opposition is not there to oppose at times, some things might not get it done. Uh, so, if someone addresses an issue about uh, the volcano, about the floods, about the issues at the shelter, uh, does that mean uh, that that person is against the PM? No, it doesn't mean that. All we are doing, we are calling for unity in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, so if someone says, untold stories, you made a mistake. What is untold stories to do? Am I too big to be corrected? So if we say, PM, you did something wrong. Mr. Friday, you did something wrong. Does that mean that we are against them? No. Uh, no one is perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. It's just a simple thing we are asking, you know. Is that the volcano relief funding that the government get, that it be used for the right purposes? If we say uh, that the NDP didn't do anything, uh, that's a lie. If we say that the ULP didn't do anything, uh, that's another lie. Because they have done. But what we are saying right now, we are in a new millennium. In all the other countries, uh, technology is more advanced than St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So what we are trying to do is to get St. Vincent on the same level as uh, the other countries. Uh, pray for St. Vincent. I thank you.